thing where, you know, if you relocate a bear that is, is showing habituation behaviors, you know, what, what does that bear do in its new environment? And the studies consistently show that that bear will try to find its way back to where it's from. You know, animals have a great homing instinct. That bear's probably going to start working its way back home. And it's going to cross roadways and get struck by a vehicle and killed is the likely scenario. Or it is going to find humans at some point, either be a campground or another community. And it is going to continue in that same um, habituated behavior uh, exhibiting before that it was trapped and relocated. So it's it's not that simple. You know, people say that we see a lot of social media messages and comments. Why don't they just trap the bear and take it back to the Cherokee National Forest or take it back to the park? Well, you know, there, there are pretty vast um, areas of land here in East Tennessee, but you can't take one far enough away here in East Tennessee that it won't at some point find people wherever that it goes or it won't start working its way back home. So it's, it's just not a good option to re relocate that bear. So, but the best option is, is to avoid habituating them to human foods to begin with. That's where we need the public to cooperate with us in, in this mission. And it's, it's just so tough in touristy areas like you know, Sevierville, Gatlinburg, Pleasant Forge, uh, leading over into towns. And there's just so many people. There's so many restaurants and cabins and chalets. There's just a constant food source and a constant influx of people. And unfortunately, uh, a lot of times the uh, tourists and guests are the ones that um, engage in these behaviors because I think in their mind, they're they're only there temporarily. It's not going to be their problem once they leave. So they can feed these bears. They can get their selfie, their videos, this um, intimate moment encounter or whatever you want to call it with this bear. And then they go home. Well, the people that come in behind them, they may be more responsible. And they, they're they the ones that end up having to um, suffer or deal with a habituated bear because of the actions of people before them. So it's kind of a pay it forward mentality. We need you know, residents and guests and visitors of Tennessee to all cooperate so that we don't have to trap and euthanize bears. I mean, it's the symbol of the Smokies. Uh, it's one of the great, that's one of the greatest things people come to see. And I get that, but we don't want to see bears in the uh, environment where they are eating human foods or dog food or cat food, bird seed or whatever. We want to see them in a natural setting. Like when you get up into the park and you see them crossing a field and you see them in a tree eating nuts or berries, that's the kind of, uh, bear sightings that we want people to see, not ones that where bears are approaching people and making contact with.